Julian Matthew is here with his very popular, wildly top rated customer favorite spearhead shovel. But what? It's in colors and it has a new cushioned soft grip wider handle. So now the guys with the bigger hands and all of us wearing big gardening gloves can easily hold on to that handle. This has been one of our most popular garden items ever. My parents love it. I love it. It's one of my top three forever garden tools. This is our January garden item of the month, and we are launching it today right now in its new version on two easy payments of $22.46. This is so new, it's an advanced order, which is going to ship out to you uh, February 10th. Again, uh, Julian's here to tell you about the different things he's done to the new one. We now have three colors. Please come in and get yours before they are gone because this is a must have. So let me show you. We have yellow, which we had yellow before, but the, now the handle is also yellow and it was always very popular. Two new color alerts, pink and lime, whoops, lime green, which are much more limited if you want one of these two colors in this fabulous tool. It's not just a shovel. It's so way more and easier to use. This is a must have for every lady gardener. Julian and your dad invented this. God bless him. Yes, he I was, think we've got his picture. We're going to pop up here. Yes, he was 85 years old when he came up with this. He's now 91 years old and uh, living in Florida in the winters. So I'm doing all these shows. Yeah. Um, so what really makes this shovel unique and there's a picture of my dad. Still looking young there. Oh, he's such a nice man and so smart that, you know, he actually was having trouble like a lot of, you know, the seniors who watch my show, my mom and dad included, and and we girls who try to do things ourselves, you know, it's hard sometimes to lift those big rocks and things. Um, a regular shovel, as you'll explain, cannot get down and under stuff and cut through corners and cut through roots. Exactly. Like this one can, and your dad thought of all of that. Exactly. Well, he, the way he explains how he came up with this, he says, you know, I took a regular shovel and it took away everything that prevents it from going into there the you ground. Go. Okay. So we're going to show you how right, a regular shovel works over here. So here's a regular round point shovel that you'll have in your yard. I'm sure mm -hmm. everybody has one of these. Down here, I have what I'm simulating is a bunch of roots. All right. I'm going to stand on this shovel without trying to fall down. All right. I'm going to put my full weight on it. All right, so you can see I'm standing on it and nothing is happening. That's why you have to jump up and down to try to get through right. multiple roots. Right. I'm going to take our spearhead spade and we're going to do the same thing, but I'm not even going to stand on it. I'm just going to push my foot wow. and go right through it. Right. So no problem. I'm barely putting and my weight on it. That's what happens with roots and you can get weeds out with this. I use it in the winter time to chip ice up on my driveway that the snowblower can't get. I mean, I use this thing year round and look how light it is. Ladies, it's very powerful. It's so well made, but it doesn't weigh a ton. What did you uh, materials did you use for this? All right, uh, we made the blade extra hard and extra thick to be able to withstand digging in the toughest conditions that you have, whether it's rocky soil, whether it's clay, whether it's roots. We also made this uh, this shape called the spearhead shape. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it looks like a spear, but it's also sharpened like a spear on all the advanced edges. So it's pointed like a spear and mm -hmm. sharpened like a spear. Mm -hmm. So you can tell as you're going into the ground, you're splitting things apart. You're pushing things apart, whether it's yeah. rocks, roots, and then you're slicing them continuously mm -hmm. as you're going down. So it's a slicing action mm -hmm. rather than I call it a chopping action. Right. We have a larger footrest here to make it more comfortable. So, to push. You, so you're not hurting no matter you could wear like bedroom slippers exactly it and would not hurt the bottom of your foot on that longer socket and the reason that's important is because that's the thing a place is going to break first normally a socket goes to right here and then that's where you break a shovel by extending another three to four inches and double riveting it now you're much more likely to not break there because right. that's supported by metal uh -huh. this is called a pull truded fiberglass very strong but very flexible type material designed to bend without breaking uh -huh. inside this there's a northern ash hardwood core let's see if we can that's see like it. a baseball bat that's what they make baseball bats out right. of exactly uh -huh. so you have double reinforcement triple reinforcement extra hard extra thick blade matter of fact okay. blade is so hard you cannot sharpen it with a file you wow. have to use a grinding wheel or you have to use uh, a diamond stone okay uh, we're busy on the lines over 500 ordered pink and green are new and we don't have as many pink and green ones to go around if you let me get my card out of the way here's the pink here's the green we are bringing back yellow, but yellow is also has the new and improved comfort grip and wider handle on it, everybody. Exactly. Uh, 
this is a uh, weed block, this mm -hmm. material here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to show a demonstration where we're going to go through two layers of weed block. Normally, you would only have one layer of this material to prevent weeds from going around. Right. And a lot of times, you have to go back in and replace plants a couple years later. Yeah. And it's, you cannot get through this with a regular shovel. But with our spearhead spade, I'm not even going to put my full weight on it. You're going to see that it goes through two layers as if it was like butter. That's, that's the most common thing that people say. This goes in the ground like butter. <laughs> I love this. This is so easy to use, ladies. You don't need a lot of strength. The tool does all the work for you, similar to our ratcheting shears, which are in my other top three garden tools. I love this. I never, I have not touched my regular shovel and sometimes not even my snow shovel, uh, unless it's a big wide path I need yep. to put. I mean, this works for everything. Uh, th again, as I mentioned earlier, this is advanced order. This is so new. It's not going to ship out to you till February 10th. <laughs> Uh, get it, get the color that you want. This is our January garden item of the month. Julian sells these quite rapidly, by the way, for nearly $50 at garden shows. Our price is $5 less. You're also getting easy pay. Take advantage of that. Let's say hi to Carolyn in Maryland. Hi, Carolyn in Maryland. Say that very fast three times in a row. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How about yourself? We're doing great. I hear good. you have the original version of this. Is that right? I do. I've had it a year, maybe two years. Okay. I don't know. And I live up in western Maryland, up yeah. around Deep Creek Lake. And my soil is so rocky, I can't even plant flowers. I have a little flower bed, maybe three foot long. I mm. can't get it any longer because mm. I'm the only one that can do it. Wow. And wow. it works great. It really does. Have you ever tried it around big, thick tree roots? That's where I use mine because, you know, you can plant things in between those tree roots if you can move them out of the way. You I know. don't have any trees. I have one tree in there the back, go. and it's a big old pine tree. That's okay. That's it. That's the only tree I have. I get leaves from everybody else's yard in mine. I don't have any trees. Well, you know, I think this works, though, for all of those uh, pr projects that you're talking about where you've got a lot of rocks or something's in the way. It's hard to dig into your soil, and you can get into it easily with this spearhead spade. Right. So yes, you can. Yes, yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And the older you get, the more you need something that works much more easily, yeah. right? And that doesn't well, waste right. so much. Well, right. I wish I could find somebody around here to do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the meantime, you can do it yourself with this. I, I also like it to separate my daylilies and some of my plants that I want to kind of spread them out. And you can get uh -huh. very precise with this because of that point. You can uh -huh. just dig up like one or two bulbs. Or right. a little bit. You don't have to dig up the whole darn patch like you would with a right. regular shovel. Right. So you can do detail as well as larger work. Yeah. We're going to show you a situation where you have lots of rocks, just like your yard over here. And <laughs> normally a regular shovel is too wide. You're hitting multiple rocks in different directions, right? <laughs> Some of mine are brick. Oh, yeah. Boy. Well, with this, it, what it does is it pushes the rocks away. It, it goes in between the rocks. I'm not trying to go between the rocks. It does it by itself. Yeah. Right. right. See? Uh -huh. So it, it just wants to go in between them. Right. Right. It doesn't matter. It, any direction, it doesn't matter. So that's why it makes it so much easier for you. Yeah. Now well, I have black eyed Susans and I can separate those and my uh, my um, lavender. Mm -hmm. I can separate that and that's pretty much all I can get up here. Yeah. Well, I'm glad this has made your gardening easier for you. It's more time for you to sit back and enjoy it, Carolyn. Yes, so, it is. Well, tune in Tuesday. Garden season starts. Garden party Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. OK? OK. All right. We'll see you then. Okay, Thanks, bye bye. Thanks, dear. Bye bye. I also like with rocks that if there's a rock that you want to get out of the ground because it's blocking where you want to plant something, you can easily just get under it and pop it right out with this, even if it's a big rock because of the way this is shaped. Yep. It's yep. so much better than a regular shovel. So yep. uh, we got about a minute left. Okay, so like, again, I'm trying to explain why regular shovels okay. don't work so well. It's because they're too wide. There's too much blade going into the ground, right? Mm -hmm. So what that does is that distributes your weight across mm -hmm. too large of an area. Right. Right, so I, as you're trying to get through these roots, and I'm standing on this completely, yeah. no, nothing's happening, right? It's just right? pushing them, it's not cutting them. Right, it's not cutting them. With this, don't even stand right through. Yep. It's, it's just such a, a superior, to, your dad was a genius. <laughs> um, you know, and I have to tell you, 1,500 of these have been ordered. Lime is our most popular color and our most limited color. It's new, along with the pink one, which is also new. Here, hold that lime. Yes, and we'll grab that pink Here's one. Here's the pink. And we have yellow, which was our color last year, but now yellow also has a yellow handle. Again, what's new this year is, look at the handle. The handle is wider, so you can wear your gloves with it, even the gentlemen yep. with larger hands, and their gloves will fit through this handle. And also, it's got a cushion grip, which we didn't have before. The rest of it's made exactly the same. It's the spearhead shovel you know and love. It's our January garden item of the month.
take advantage of EasyPay. Super comfortable tool, super easy to use. Great idea. Makes your life a whole lot easier. My favorite. I love it. <laughs> All right, Julian, thank you. Thank you. I'll see Jill. you on Garden Party. I see love you on my Garden friend. Party. And somebody else who's going to be on Garden Party, everybody. I